Yeah, Calla, good morning. Well, conditions certainly improving out here. We're not smelling that heavy smoke, and we can see a lot more clear out here. Couldn't say that the last couple of days, but certainly we can tell firsthand that the conditions are improving. But we're not in the clear yet, and that means some activities, some events happening throughout the weekend uh, may be postponed or canceled, but it's really just going to depend on if the conditions continue to improve or they could get worse, but we're keeping a close eye on it and just seeing if any of those high profile events like the Belmont Stakes, the Governor's Ball, they will still go on. If air quality improves, it's off to the races. Until then, the final leg of the Triple Crown, the Belmont Stakes, is up in the air. If the air quality exceeds 200 at the facility, at any facility, there will be no racing. Uh, that's going to be canceled if the air quality is above 200. If the air quality is 150 to 200, only horses that pass an additional pre-race vet examination will be permitted to race. And we're closely monitoring this because this is a a national phenomenon. People come from all over the country. It's huge for the local economy. Smoky skies also impacting the highly anticipated governor's ball, but it's likely it will start on time. The festival tweeted gates will open at 1145 this morning as planned. Regarding the city's preparedness, Mayor Adams responding to criticism about how long it took to distribute masks. We're doing it, and I know we're doing it. I know we're how to deploy, how to execute, how to mobilize. This is what I spent my life doing, and this team did it the right way. The mayor also says he will not force individual events to cancel. If we ever reach a point, as we, has, we have shown, if we reach a point where you have to shut down things, we're willing to do so. The, the precedent is already there. We're not at that point. We're at the point where each entity will make their determination based on a sound recommendation by the Department of Health and Retirement. And New York City public schools playing it safe. They have pivoted to remote learning for today and certainly the conditions outside. We might see the air improving, but that could change depending on the winds and the wildfire conditions in Canada. Live in Long Island City, I'm Rebecca Solomon.